And here today we have James who actually brews kombucha. And James, um, you know, you don't actually sell the kombucha, but yeah. you just kind of, um, you have it as a hobby. Yes. Right? So how exactly um, do you make kombucha? Yeah, exactly. So like you said, kombucha is just a black fermented tea. Um, and it's a sweet tea. Um, and so how I go about that is that you just need a SCOBY, which is actually an acronym um, for a symbiotic culture of bacteria and yeast. Mm. And so the SCOBY that you can see right here um, is just in the bottom of this container, which is a gallon um, of black tea. And then you let that sit there um, for about, um, about a week to two weeks, just mm -hmm. kind of depending on if you like it more sweet or more acidic. Mm -hmm. um, and then once you get to the taste, oh taste that you want, then you put it into individual bottles. Um, I enjoy just getting bottles from the store that I already got from kombucha um, companies, um, or you can get these flip top bottles. And then the, this is the second fermentation where you're doing the flavoring and also where the carbonation is forming. Oh, wow. So, um, <laughs> you know, I've, um, I, I made it before once and I, I got my SCOBY. <laughs> Um, I got my SCOBY by taking, you know, like, I don't even remember how I did it, but um, I, I, I think I got like a big jar of the kombucha and then I did that and it was, just, but how did you get your SCOBY? Yeah, so I actually wanted to make my own SCOBY mm -hmm. from just um, some kombucha, um, some non-flavored kombucha, but I wasn't able to do that, so I actually just got mine um, through an online store um, mm -hmm. and was able to create my kombucha from that. Right. And Take then notes, maybe next time that's <laughs> the best route to go. Right. Yeah. And then of course, as you're creating creating them, um, as you're creating kombucha, it begins to grow and, be and begins to layer up. Mm -hmm. And so you're able to actually make more kombucha from that and being able to get a stronger, uh, more rich kombucha. It's kind of like, you know, you have the, um, the one SCOBY and that sc SCOBY kind of multiplies, yeah, you know, becomes yeah. two SCOBY. And yeah. then, like, I feel like this is kind of like, uh, what is it, like yeast or whatever, um, the sourdough that you, we've talked about yes, on Cato yes, Living yes. before. You've got the starter and then you go <laughs> from there. But this is not a food, this is rather a drink. Yes. It, the SCOBY kind of looks a little bit alien. Too. <laughs> it does. Like, the SCOBY <laughs> has like a weird feeling and it's like, whoa, you're like a live creature with all these yeah. purported health benefits. Um, but I know for me, I just really like it. Um, it kind of like gives me it makes my gut just really yes. really happy so yeah um, I know Caitlin you have I've had never it had kombucha kombucha before so yeah. totally new to can me can we try some absolutely oh boy I'm nervous I, <laughs> I would believe that you would like the lilac kombucha oh, that okay. I made and so and uh, while you're pouring this yes. um you said that you like add flavors, so can you kind yep. of make it whatever flavor you yeah, want? Yeah, so really any flavor that you can think of, um, you can create. I like using syrups um, that I make it because it's good. just a lot easier um, to make than having to strain out, for example, any fruit or herbs. It's a lot lighter yeah. than I thought. I don't, you mentioned tea, so I'm gonna yeah. go level with you. I am not a tea drinker. I've never liked tea, so I thought I was gonna have a strong tea taste. Yes. So then anyone at home that's trying to wonder about this, there's no tea taste. I taste the lilac and kombucha, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yes. like, like I described, it's almost like a- It's um, very light, mm -hmm. yeah. very light. And it, like it goes into your belly and it's just like, my, the belly is just like, oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> yes. And oh, the is, fizz yeah. is very low too. You know, mm -hmm. some people like, when you say fizz, they might think mm -hmm. like pop or something. Mm -hmm. And it's not like that at all. It's just kind of like, like a little taste yeah. of fizz. Right, so how can people um, get more information about kombucha? Yeah, definitely. Um, I would say any online searching that you can do, there's lots and lots of YouTube videos right. that go way more into detail about you know the sugar content versus the black tea or green tea mm -hmm. content. Um, it is super, super easy. Um, but yeah, just I would just look online and all, right. all that stuff. Well, thank yeah. you so much, James. Absolutely. And still to come on